The Extend IA study was a trial coordinated out of the Royal Melbourne Hospital and operated at 14 centres around Australia and New Zealand. And essentially we were treating patients with stroke with a large blood vessel that's blocked in the brain uh, with a new treatment that involves going in by an angiogram, uh, needle in the groin, and actually physically removing that clot, uh, as well as just giving the standard clot dissolving medicine that we would normally give to stroke patients with this condition. The treatment had a spectacularly good effect. It opened the artery twice as often as the existing treatment, and that meant that 70% of the patients in our study ended up with a return to their normal function and independence compared to only 40% who received the standard treatment. This is a treatment that applies to patients with the most severe types of stroke, that strokes that are most likely to cause disability, people who end up in nursing homes or even dead. And so it is a major advance and it's something we need to work very hard on to apply across our country. It was hard to, to believe that I had a stroke. I, I didn't think it would happen to me actually. So when Sam came to the hospital, he had a very severe stroke. He couldn't move his right arm at all. He couldn't talk and he couldn't understand what we were saying to him. He couldn't look out to, or he couldn't see anything in his um, right half of his vision. So this is the brain imaging we took when you first came to the hospital. And you can see there's an abnormal area of blood flow. This is actually the left side of the brain, controls the right side of your body. Yeah. So that's why you couldn't move the right hand side, why you couldn't talk when you came in. And that's just showing you that the next day when we repeated the scan, that blood flow had all gone back to normal. So we think this treatment probably applies to about 10% of people with strokes, which may not sound like much, but again, it's the most severely affected patients that are most likely to end up disabled. So we think it will have a significant impact on the disability burden of stroke around Australia and New Zealand and the world. One of the key features about our study was the use of advanced brain imaging to actually look into the patient's brain and see which parts were already irreversibly damaged that we couldn't save versus how much was actually salvageable if we can get the artery open quickly. And that is a major difference between our trial and many of the other trials that are done around the world and I think that's one of the contributors to the improved results with this study. I think it offers, offers hope that hasn't necessarily been there before. There's a much greater chance that these patients will go home or will go home early. We've had these spectacular anecdotal results where we remove the blood clot, somebody is densely paralysed in their arm and leg, can't speak, and then on the table or within 24 hours, they're back to almost normal and they can go home within a couple of days. That wasn't something we saw before this sort of approach. I think it's enormously exciting. I think it's offered a new tool and it's also applied to the people who've got some of the worst strokes. Uh, the, these are patients who've got a large vessel blockage. Uh, we know they don't do well uh, without opening those blood vessels and I think it's going to be uh, of enormous value. I think it will apply to somewhere between 20 and 30 percent perhaps of the patients who come in and I think it'll be uh, really is revolutionary. The excitement with which this is being greeted around the world is just amazing.